Well, it's November the 12th. Didn't hunt this morning because this front's coming in. It was 20, 25 mile an hour winds, 28 degrees. I wasn't gonna sit in that stand. Wind blow you out of it and the cold, I couldn't handle it. So I'm back down here this evening and we'll give it a try. Winds calmed down a little bit, it's about 15 to 20 mile an hour. Supposed to be laying down just a little bit right before dark, go down about 10 to 15, so. Right now it's about 2.30. I'm gonna head on back in there once I get all my stuff together. I'm gonna try to sit in that stand, I got plenty of clothes on. Hopefully we see something like this. They gotta be moving. Check the trail camera tonight too, see what's on it. Alright, ready to rock. Good stuff, need trap. Staying that set up. I'm telling you, that wind blowing is cold. Cut right through you. But I put on some very thick, insulated pants. Hopefully, I'll be able to stay in the stand till dark. But as long as that wind dies down a little bit, it shouldn't be too bad. You can't kill them sitting on the couch. I slept in this morning. I feel a whole lot better than I did. I mean, I've been hard at it for the last three days. Got a little bit of sleep, I feel a whole lot better, so. Let's see if we can get something done this evening. The weather's perfect, except for the wind. If that wind would die down and stay in the 30s, we'll kill some deer, but you never know during the rut. Oh, big old buck, I would chase a dog up out of that holler up here to me, so. Get quiet, get kicked back. Try to stay in this stand without falling out of wind blowing me back to the truck, so. Let's see what happens.
bucket of dough. right here in front of me. I didn't have much time to run out of daylight. I took the shot right there. He's still over there. I'm surprised she didn't fall right there. Harder crash right over there. Happened so fast. I try to get my stuff together to climb out the tree. Had another deer coming here beside me. Want to go? I think it's a little button buck. Let him walk. I look up and that that dog come busting up the hill. That buck behind.
was sitting there waiting for the buck to go off to come climb out the stand. I look up, there comes another door right in there on me. So it should be two deer down right here. Telling you that wind changed, the weather changed, and the deer started moving. Okay, go on, climb down. Awesome, awesome evening. Got these deer late last night. Me and my buddy got them out late last night. We couldn't do the recovery because it was so dark. Actually, we tried to do it, but it was too dark. So I decided to do it over this morning. But what happened last night is the first couple of days of rifle season, it was nice, cool in the mornings. But by midday, it was already getting up very hot. And by evening, it was up in the 60s. So I think the deer were bedded down. But lucky enough, Monday night, we had a little front come through, dropped a little bit of snow, dropped the temperature down. Uh, bad thing about yesterday morning, it had been a perfect morning, but the wind was blowing 20, 25 mile an hour, so I decided to sleep in. Come down here yesterday evening, and I had a little four corn, bust this dough up out of the holler, run up her to me, and I needed some meat for the freezer, so I went on and shot her, and she ran over about 40 yards and fell over dead, so as I was doing my interview, I looked up, and this one here come busting up the hill right where she did, so. I shot her as well. She ran over about 30 yards. She fell over, so then they both fell within 40 yards of each other. So, we got some meat for the freezer. I'm pumped up. I'm gonna try to get me a nice buck now. Hopefully, let them does walk, bring a buck past me. 